Bless up Electroculture family. Out here today installing another CW1 Electroculture antenna. Doing the first steps, getting the trench in, getting the holes dug, getting everything in line magnetically. We have the antenna of course will go outside this greenhouse. This is a 100 by 30 foot greenhouse that the line will run through. This is the furthest southern point here right outside the greenhouse. This will be where the pole for the antenna will go. You can see it's in line with the whole bank of antennas we have out here in one of our gardens. Then of course we'll go inside the greenhouse. And that hole outside where the pole and antenna will go is running straight to this point here. And then we have a line run all the way in line with magnetic south to north flow. That's the flow of current. And this is a diagonal line in this greenhouse because it's not aligned perfectly south to north when it was installed years ago. So anyway, this is how you would do it. You have to stay in, in, in true line with the magnetic current, um, even if it's a diagonal line. Um, and we're just out here trying to show you how these installations go down to make them more and more comprehensive for your own installation purposes. So we've run a piece of string along the ground that will act as a guide for our trencher when we're making the furrow for the ground line for the electroculture system. And this is the furthest southern point inside this greenhouse. And you can see the line runs to the furthest northern point down there by the BCS tractor. Um, and this will just act as a guide for our trencher. Okay, so now we're at the point where we have our trench made going from the point where the pole and antenna will be outside of the greenhouse pretty shallow trench running going under the framing and then as we'll see as we enter the soil that will be growing in in the greenhouse the trench starts to get maximum depth pretty quickly about 14 inches in this case running all the way to the northern point this is the 12 and a half gauge galvanized steel wire that will be the ground line this is a hundred foot ground line in this case these are the magnetic signal boosters. These are just stacks of magnets coated in beeswax. The southern face of the magnetic stack is marked. They will go on the, the wire that will go through these magnets, let's say, and they will be on in periodicities on the ground wire, which provides for more electromagnetic induction, more voltage into our system as the magnets interact with the conductor. So as we install the ground line, we've already fed it under the greenhouse framing and we're rolling it out nice and smooth in the trench. We've preloaded all the magnet stacks up on the wire so we can distribute them in even periodicities as we move along. Since this is a hundred foot greenhouse and we're going to use five magnets on this wire, we're spreading them out about every 20 feet. And as you go along, it's a good idea through trial and error we've learned to go ahead and backfill a little bit of the soil and even use a stick to press down on the wire to keep it at its maximum depth as you recover it with the loose soil and this keeps your system nice and straight and tidy as you move along. Okay so now we've run our ground line, we've backfilled the trench with soil all the way from the most southern point to the most northern yin point. So now we're installing last little bit here of the ground line. I have put it through a poplar dowel with some pre-drilled holes just to add support and this allows me to drive the grounding point deeper than the furrow. That's important that your point of ultimate yin in the fluxing system is the deepest point in the soil. So I get it down in there, get it started, and that's probably going down in about ultimately like 30 inches to three feet when it's all said and done because that was a two foot post hole to begin with so now we'll just backfill this negative point and this ground line is fully installed and stubbed out at the positive point for the antenna installation so we've seen what it looks like inside the greenhouse outside the greenhouse where the antenna and pole will go you can see how it's just stubbed out and ready to go. I've slipped a couple insulators on here. I can trim that line when it's time and couple it to my antenna lead line 
This is so we can continue work on this greenhouse without having to wait until everything's done because it's hard to find windows sometimes in year-round production greenhouses to install the ground lines. So now we can put compost, paramagnetic rock dust, and our rock powders in and harrow the greenhouse and plant it.